What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some Evo tips in NBA 2K20 on my team. So lads, I'm going to be telling you guys how I Evoed up Kenrick Williams in 10 minutes. I'm not, obviously, I'm not going to count the fact, like, I made two three-pointers in a single game. That was, um, basically, that was on the video we did, and I wasn't even really trying it. This was the only one we had completed before the video, but... You can get him done in three games. It takes, say not three games, two games. And I don't even mean two games. You can get it done in one game of like five minute quarters. But the quickest way of getting it done is two games of up to 21 triple trash. So as you guys can see right here, we have managed to Evo Cal, uh, Kenrick Williams. I, I don't know why I keep calling him Kenrick Williams. Why is it just, okay, sorry, it's just upgraded. So. Basically, what you have to do, as you guys saw, it's get 11 bas made baskets, 5 or 6 defense rebounds, I'm not sure, um, which it is. And then there is, there's 2 3-pointers, which is super easy. And after the 2 3-pointers, it's 3 steals. So the 3 steals is the only one that's in any way difficult to do. Like the only one that people are kind of somehow struggling with. So as you guys can see, he's there in my free squad right now. Kenrick Williams is right here. So, I'm going to show... A little bit off of what this guy can do right now like pre evo obviously he was he was all right but like post evo this dude right here is like a half clams demon like post evo like just the, the difference in his dribbling like oh yeah oh yeah like he couldn't do any of this stuff he couldn't do as i should have left but like his just the way he just feels on the floor he feels so different like he could barely pro one um like his pro one wasn't nearly the same, like a 60 something ball handle. Oh yeah, it's just so much better, his dribbling now. Yeah, it's just a, mi it's a million times better. Obviously the jump shot's not really affected too much, but his jump shot is really nice. But yeah, the big thing is his defense goes up so much. He gets that half clamps badge. I assume you can't stick green from here. But um, yeah, he gets the half clamps badge, which is huge. As well as that, did I just hit from there with no range? Okay, he's got hidden range extender then, I guess. <laughs> like, range isn't that big a thing on this gen. He just pulled off that. All right, let's shoot that fade. Green light, let's go. But uh, yeah, so his dribbling is huge. And then obviously he gets like the half clamps, half intimidator. Badge, don't leave on a white. Oh my God, he's white two in a row. There we go. Wait for it to go in. All right. So if you guys are looking at what this Evo has done, Again, this is a free locker code. Just type in the code. It's really, like, again, it takes typing in a code to get the card. So, like, what you're getting is he goes to, he gets, a, he gets 10 half badges. Like, half corner specials, half catch and shoot. Like, the half catch and shoot is probably why you can shoot from a little bit of range if you can time it right. Half intimidator, half trapper, half downhill, half quick first step, half hot stopper. There's always a bunch of gold badges. Like, they're insane. Like, his three-pointer goes up a little bit as far as I'm aware as well. Three pointer goes is at 89. His driving dunks 85 is pretty good. His ball handle goes up to 86. Defense is ridiculously good. Um, speed's pretty nice. Not all quick is at 90. Again, good enough defensive stats with that half clamps badge and half intimidator. What's his interceptor actually? He's got half trapper as well, which is huge. Does he have surely his gold interceptor? Yeah, he's gold interceptor. Like these are insane, insane badges. So now I'm gonna be showing you guys the way to do it. So, first of all, the spotlight challenge. If you ever need steals at a player, if you ever need steals, go to Central Division, play the first Ilya Sova Triple Trash. So, using these guys right here, like, again, it doesn't really matter um, who you use alongside Kendrick Williams. Or any player. Like, if you ever, like, it's really, really easy. TT offline is the quickest way to do any Evo, unless it's, like, one game. It's the quickest way to score. It's the quickest way to, especially because you're getting something out of it. It's the quickest way to score. It's Unless it's stuff in one game, it's the quickest way to get rebounds because it's the fastest game. It's the most shots that are being taken and it's the most space on the floor as well. So literally, he's point guard. So just wait for it. Because like, it, look, look at who the guards are. Like it's Ilya Sova's playing point guard. Like that's one defensive rebound there. Literally, this is what you do. Like you can go to the basket, take fades, dunk. It does not matter. And then just spam on the ball. Just spam whoever has the ball. Just spam square. Like normally spamming square doesn't work. I'll be the first to tell you guys. At spamming square very, very rarely works in these scenarios. But like dribble the ball at me. Oh, come on, I just need once. But like again, we've already got the one board. 
which is needed. So you can either have him, and on defense, it's probably best. Well, it's obviously, it's best from the guy at the point guard. Just run by. I guess what? It doesn't matter. Like, literally, doesn't matter. Just get back inside of him again. Spam. Unlucky. All right, I'm just going to, I'm going to get one steal. But basically, you're going to get, it's hard to get steals, but you're going to get a bunch of steals, a bunch more steals against like an Elias over. There we go. That's one steal already. That's one steal. Obviously, he's got the one rebound off the miss because these guys can't shoot the ball. And then you've gone in for the basket. I got two points right there. One steal. Like, you just got to shoot a bunch of two pointers. Again, it's on a low enough difficulty. That's a second steal right there. And right to the basket. Good dunk. And like, once you, again, if you run, like, it's going to be kind of difficult to score twos, but like, I mean, it's not that hard. Like, that's two of the steals. Like, the rebound and stuff are easy. And we just got two steals in like the space of a minute right there. Okay, that's bad. Again, this game might take a little bit more than the five minutes. And then, literally, all you have to do, like, all right, just wait for him to shoot. Just wait for him to shoot. I really don't care. Just put up a shot. Just just get a rebound here. Just, Elise Ova's not that great a shooter. And he just happens to shoot. Whatever. You're, you'll get the rebounds. You'll get the rebounds. The steals are the hard part. So then, what you literally have to do after, obviously, you go and win that game, is you go and play a game of TT Online or TT Offline and just hit two three-pointers with him. Like, it is that simple. It is that simple. And with those two, like, with those games, you have so you have simultaneously got, you have got your steals, which is three steals in a game. You've got that. You've got your 11 made baskets, and you've got your rebounds. So you've got the three of those done in your one game, in that TT offline game. And then you get the three pointers done in the, sorry, in the challenge game. Then you get the three pointers on TT offline. If you think, that's actually not even the easiest way to do it. The easiest way to do it would be to hit the two three-pointers while you're getting the steals and rebounds and then go and run to the basket because you're highly unlikely to play against two shot blockers in TT Offline. So the way I suggested, again, it doesn't really matter. It's 10 minutes. Like, it takes 10 minutes max, max, to Evo this guy. And what you've got from 10 minutes of an Evo, 10 minutes, let's not forget, 10 minutes, like 600 seconds, like, it is quicker to Evo this card than it is to play like one qu one half of any other game. So a lot of people are going to say, oh yeah, let's do it on Rookie Dom. Nah, like a half of Rookie Dom is way longer. A qu You get a quarter and a half into a Rookie Domination game, you can't quit. You've got your counter Williams. If you spend that amount of time playing TTO for a God tier defensive player, an absolute God tier defensive player, and a more than competent offensive player because of a half catch and shoot, especially on next gen. Like looking at, looking at this team right here, I don't know if I'm gonna keep Batum or go with Jeremy Grant, but still, like the free cards 2K are giving out are insane. Especially these Evos. Evoing is become is becoming a big thing, and it is so it's becoming so easy Evo cards. Like Wally Zerbiak was about an hour and a half in TT offline, just getting 153s. Brad Davis, if I had known, Brad Davis was really quick. He was like 300 points. Actually, no, Brad Davis wasn't that quick. He was like 300 points, 75 assists, 25 steals. Like, Brad Davis was not a quick Evo. Um, but these two guys have been super quick Evos. I'm trying to think who else has been a quick Evo. Ronnie Brewer, once you get the steals down. Like, the steals are always quite a tricky thing with Evos. But as soon as I found out about this challenge right here, about this spotlight challenge where you're coming up against the three um, big men, I just realized that it's a really, really easy thing to do. If you ever need steals, just constantly play that challenge. Because you can legitimately, if you try... If you try in that game, you can get 10, 15 steals. Like, if you really put in the effort, it's that easy. So, yeah, that is the video. That is how to evolve the new card that we got in um, the, well, the locker code. It is how to evolve him super, super quickly. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.